All right, hello everybody. Back here with another Azure haul. So this is my June haul and it's not a lot, but it is a lot of dairy. So let me show you what I got. So I finally got this big jug. It's a one gallon of maple syrup. We go through this quite a lot, so I just decided I'll get a big one and I'll keep it in the refrigerator, use it all the time. It'll probably last a couple of months. And then I also got six car cartons. Um, what are these? I don't know. Let's see, 24 ounce little cartons of yogurt. And this brand is really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze these. So I'm gonna keep one out for right now and then freeze the rest of them. Along with these two, I got kefir as well. So for the kefir, I'm also going to freeze. Our baby boy loves drinking kefir with some maple syrup or honey. It is delicious. That's probably who you hear in the background. He's talking to the dogs. And then we got three blocks of salted, three blocks of unsalted. I should have got more of this, but um, I also bought buckets too, so our price was just getting a little bit too high for us for this month but anyways i will show you those buckets during nap time and i will show you what i'm doing with them i think i bought yeah i bought three a couple months back i bought the lids but i did not receive the buckets so now i have the buckets and i can finally decant some of these things put them down here and kind of spruce this up and clean it all up a little bit so i will be back at nap time to show you what I do with that. All right, so we're in the outside refrigerator and I put all of my, or sorry, freezer, all of my yogurt, my kefir on the bottom, and now it is ready. It's going to freeze and it can easily defrost whenever we need it for a little snack. All right, so for the oats, I actually don't have quite enough to put into the bucket. So I'm just going to fill this and I already have my little label for that. So I'm going to fill it up. Oats are just kind of a thing we eat more so in the winter and cooler months. It's just nice for like a really warm breakfast or sometimes even a snack. Um, so I may buy one more because it's nice to mix it up every once in a while. So let's move on to the bigger containers next. Okay, so I did something different. I don't know what I did, but I did not order. I swear there's like a mix up every single time, but I did not order enough of the lids, which is totally fine. I'll just keep using this lid. Um, and then the rest, I'm using the gamma lids and I'll insert kind of a close up of the gamma lids. They're supposed to be um, better quality, easier to open, airtight, just better for food storage. And so my plan is to use these buckets for things that I go through quite often and just need a bigger, or I like to have a bigger supply of them. So that's usually my flowers my beans, and then I think eventually I'll get into like my different sugars that I like to have, a couple of different ones. Um, but for right now, I have this, I'll insert a clip because it's kind of big, but this central mill, let's show you. If you've watched one of my old hauls, you probably saw when I got this, um, but it's worth, what, yes but it's 100% organic wheat flour. I already have a bucket for this that I've been using, so I'm just gonna top it off and then go with my other ones. And just to note, wash these because they came very dirty and disgusting. So I washed the bucket and the lids as well. Oh, I have to do this on the floor. Okay. Oh my gosh. Don't touch it, okay? Only mama can touch it, I have clean hands. Oh, are you cleaning for me? <laughs> you think it smells good? Yeah. Yeah? No. 
No. No. that you put these on. I mean, this is my first time doing this. And I believe you unscrew no. it, put the lid on, and then you screw the top. So let's try that. No. Oh, okay. Woo, careful for your fingers. All right, that was pretty funny, but I got it on. And I can totally tell that is airtight. There's no way you can open that. Um, and then you just go on so easily. That's amazing. So now I got to do the rest of them. As of right now, this is all that I really have left to put in the buckets. I know I have more. I just haven't had my bucket situation. So I didn't want to buy more bulk foods like this, but now that I'm prepared, I'm ready to buy more to kind of just have a stock of it and not have to worry about it. So two of these two of these 10 pound bags filled up an entire three and a half gallon bucket, just so that you know, fits perfectly. I forgot about the rice, so I it was in my pantry still. So I put the lid on it. Obviously, I need a lot more too. Again, I didn't want to order more because I didn't have the lid set up and the buckets and everything. Making a label for that, and then I'll show you them all in my pantry. All right, and here they all are. Those are the two um, whole wheat ones. All purpose, all purpose rice, and then an empty one for whatever I end up putting in there next. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. These are fun to do. I know that my hauls are usually really tiny compared to a lot of people, but this is what's realistic for us and kind of what we need. Usually I'll buy a really big thing of flour. That'll last us a long time. And in my next one, I'll buy a huge thing of maple syrup and that'll last us a long time. So I kind of split it up. Um, whereas I know a lot of people kind of buy way more and then maybe they don't need to for a little bit. I don't know. I guess it's different for everybody, but either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found some inspiration on either what to buy from Azure or how to store it, things like that. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.